Anatomy of a Scholarly Article. Knowing how to read a scholarly article can actually save you lots of time. First of all, pay attention to the title. It should give you a good sense of the research focus, that is, what the article is about. Secondly, read the abstract. It will give you a brief summary of the article and the research that led to its publication. By reading the abstract, you may be able to quickly reject any article that's not going to help your research, saving you the time of reading the whole thing. Next, if the abstract looks like the article may help your project, jump ahead to the conclusion. The conclusion is another summary, like the abstract, but it focuses squarely on the results of the study. Does the article report conclusive evidence that will support your thesis? That will refute your thesis? Or are the conclusions unrelated to the focus of your paper? Reading a conclusion is the crucial next step in deciding whether to spend more time exploring the article. If you decide that the conclusion will further or add to your research, scan the list of references, which is most often found here, immediately after the conclusion. Are the sources current? Did the authors of this article base their work on the expertise of other researchers? Look for citations from scholarly journals, scholarly books, and primary sources. You can even find and use some of these to continue your research. If the article still seems promising, notice information about the authors, usually found here, right after the article title. Look at their academic credentials and affiliations. Does their scholarship or expertise match the subject matter of the article? Is their expertise relevant to your research question? If the answer is yes, then it's time to scan. Flip through the pages of the article. See how it's organized. Scan headings and subheadings. What topics are covered? Review any statistics presented in tables, charts, or graphs. These are often found in the results section. Does the information look relevant to your research needs? What sections of the article seem most relevant to your project? Next, you should go back to the beginning. Read the introduction carefully. Here, you'll get a more detailed summary of the article, the research on which it was based, the hypothesis that the authors were testing, and a review of prior research in this area. After you've been through the introduction, read closely those sections or paragraphs that you identified while scanning that are most relevant to your research question or thesis. Skim other paragraphs looking for additional data and insights. Additionally, you might want to annotate. Use a highlighter and add notes to help you remember important facts, theories, or ideas. Most library research databases have online highlighter tools, usually located on a menu along the top or the sides. Make note of how you might use this information in your research paper. The time you spend now on annotation will make it way easier to find what you need later. Finally, copy and paste all the information you'll need to create a properly formatted citation. Keep in mind, every article will be slightly different, but all scholarly articles will share this same basic anatomy. Good luck!